So the show is about Lady Macbeth. That's the simple answer. It's taking the original story and sort of focusing in on Lady Macbeth and the witches. And in our version, we're sort of imagining what happens if Lady Macbeth also has an interaction with the witches so that when she finds out that Macbeth has received this prophecy, she also calls them forth and brings them into you know, the castle for her own nefarious purposes. Um, and so the story really becomes about her relationship to the witches and how she is trying to defy her own fate in a similar way that Macbeth is. created a, a big vocabulary so far. So we've played with a really wide range of sounds and what we're doing right now is kind of narrowing in on what is the, the language of the witches. So you heard a little bit earlier we're playing with some of these overtone kind of sounds, we're playing with this kind of Bulgarian choral music type of sound, um, and then a lot of other kind of like ambient, interesting, you know, like vocal fries or like kind of stuff or even like breathing in like that kind of stuff. So we're playing with lots of different kinds of sounds and figuring out what they mean in different contexts in the in the play. been doing a lot recently is playing with a lot of different kinds of like weight sharing and large structure movement. Um, so the spandex is, an, is a new addition to that. So we're trying to figure out how do you build these architectural kind of shapes out of this, this very organic kind of movement. So instead of like thinking about movement as one person, it's, you know, one person is like the arm of this giant like hive movement, movement creature. And so eventually we want the performers and the set to sort of become one and the same thing, that they become extensions, they kind of unroll out and then can kind of roll back in <laughs> to the space. Um, so I think that answers the, the question you were talking about. Yeah. Thank you so much. No problem. <laughs>